Absolutely. So, uh, dear mama, you're jumping into a. It jumping into another uh, prime Kai, uh panel, so you should understand what that means. Um, uh, so what got we're my pocket about, sand at the ready. Um, is uh, whether we should have age limits on politicians. We brought up uh, Diane Feinstein and her recent uh, apparent uh, cognitive decline. Uh, I'm arguing that uh, we should have age limits. The rest of them are wrong. Um, so, dear mama, are you on my side? Or are you uh, uh, are you experiencing decline? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, with regard to age limits, uh, I don't think that like hard age limits are a particularly effective way of determining whether someone is um, like capable of, of um, holding office or not. Um, I think we should have other things um, in place for that. Um, and I don't know, like there's there's arguments to be made on both ends, I, I think for like, you know, young people may not have their brains fully developed or whatever. And also old people might be experiencing some level of cognitive decline. But the fact of the matter is that this isn't really like, we don't actually have a whole lot of consistency um, with these numbers. These are like broad averages. When people like sort of pull out their um, colloquialisms about like, oh, well, your, your brain doesn't grow until you're, or your brain doesn't finish growing until you're 25. Well, these are just, these are just averages. There's plenty of people who actually do uh, mature much younger than that so i think we should be careful about have evidence to support that um i mean not offhand i just jumped in but um i i, I probably yeah, could uh, i probably could drum up a bit um uh, if i'm not mistaken like most of that information is literally based off of averages and has never claimed to be anything else i don't think there's a um like a hard line for that um the, the data is very certain that it's like i mean it's 24 to 26 around that okay. that age yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is like a, a literal line where when you hit that line, you suddenly go like, boom, and you're active and then you're good and can, but I don't, I don't, I would be like, I, I'm very sus of that without you providing the evidence for the claim that 25 is the hard line. But if no, 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 no got it's it, not sure. 25, it's 20, she just said 24, 24 or 26. I mean, hard. nonetheless, yeah. then would it not be, yeah. would it not yeah, be right. potentially an injustice to put a line at 25 if there was a perfectly um like what happens if then you you put somebody in one year early yeah likewise oh. goes for goes for older age um uh like there are people there are people who are perfectly cogent into like their 90s and really really intelligent and then they get sick one time and then they lose it um there are people who are in their 60s who are just just off their fucking rocker we need to do um we need to have better standards than just random numbers to throw out there and draw lines like this uh, i think that 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 type of policy making tends to be um, woefully inadequate and also gives people a false sense of security. Like, oh, well, they're 25. That means they can't make any bad decisions. Um, when in reality, there is variation between, uh, you know, from person to person. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah Apollo, you want to respond to something that I think Fanatis said? So, I'll give the space. I was just going to say, can we choke the R slurs? I, I had to say it. That was pretty cringe. Yeah, that's okay. all. That's all I have to say. All right, so uh, we'll uh, we'll just do our final uh, statements on this. Oh, um, and then... Actually, I do have something to say. Is it? Is there any way that we could continue that conversation on term limits, or is that not possible? On term limits? Uh, nope. You mean? Next time? So do you want to do it? Are you saying you want to do it now? Yeah, I, I heard some. I, there was some points that I could address some interesting points, and I wanted to address those. But if you don't want to, that's uh, completely cool. Uh, it depends. Uh, what do you guys want to do to, uh, to the rest of the panel? Um, do you guys want to have a discussion on term limits? If not, then we can move on to the other prepared topics. Um, but it's your choice. Uh, so go ahead, um, Avadim. I'm all for hearing what Polar has to say. I don't know if I want, I, I think I don't want to have a long conversation about it. Um, cause I, I think that we're pretty in agreement on this topic for the most part. So that's my 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 two cents. Wait for real, Pennas? I don't know anything about her. I've never seen her before. Oh, um, do you want me to post the research thing on uh, how the the prefrontal cortex is fully uh, uh the development of it is fully accomplished at the age of twenty five? Sure, but I actually want to answer the question. Um, do you want to? Wait, I'd like I, that. I think I wasn't paying attention. Cognitive decline. All right. All right. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, we were asking, do you want to have a short conversation on term limits? um now not related to age or not related, related to age. just term limits just term sure. limits in general okay yes sure. no okay great sure. uh uh counter um i would like i would mind doing that as like a separate topic on a different night so we could literally attack it full on without wasting our not wasting but without using our last slot um i was kind of looking forward to the foreign policy uh debate or the yeah. nashville christmas bombing uh debate hmm. so 
Okay. Um, what did she talk to Destiny uh, about? I, my vote is for the, the bonus topic. Uh, We're I think both that the same. I, if we wanted to have a discussion on term lips, I would actually want to study it more before we like went to a full okay. blown conversation on it. Sure, sure, sure. I see where this is going. Doobie. Um, I I agree with uh, counterpoints and uh, true. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Demon Mama. Yeah, um, I'm fine with talking about whatever. I'm a guest here, so like, if we want to talk about term limits, I'm cool with that. If you want to move on to the last topic, I'd be more than interested in that. And to okay. answer Anna Frill's thing, uh, yeah, if you've got data that proves there's like a, a hard line and that the answer to that would be to do, uh, you know, put an age limit at 25, I'd be interested. But um, yeah, I'd be surprised if there was any data that explicitly said well, that. Well, sure. I have it right here sure. for you. Yeah, so. is that? Uh, can I see that real quick? Because I would love. To, yeah. I would. I'd be super I'm fascinated to find chat. out how they came to those so conclusions. We'll just do oh, final statements on this while that's happening. Okay, final statements. Um, and then we're gonna move on. So, uh, Vadim, final statements on this topic. I don't really think I. I'll just move, pass it on to someone else. I. I think I've okay. either said everything or, or other people have said it, and I just don't want to sure. recapitulate and uh, waste time. I know. Anna? Anna. Um, yeah, I don't care. What, whatever. Uh, I'm indifferent. <laughs> yeah, that's That wasn't the question, but that's fine. Um, uh, so, <laughs> cognitive decline. Um, all right. So, maybe women aren't, uh, aren't equipped. Uh, <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> uh, Connor, counterpoints. Yeah, so I think um, I think the term limits is a more elegant solution. I think assigning an arbitrary age uh, is probably not the best solution. And then also, I like my scientific, uh, studied, peer-reviewed, backed standard of if you have ever dipped your balls in any kind of icy hot or tiger bomb or your nipples, um, then you should be excluded from uh, public political service, which does eliminate no! me. <laughs> it eliminates me and Vadim. <laughs> Uh, but I'm also saying should, and need I remind the audience, this law is not in effect yet, so both I and Vadim will likely be uh, future political leaders. <laughs> I actually do really quickly want to say something I, that I totally forgot about. Did anybody notice about like five minutes ago when I got up uh, to get my cat some food and I tripped over my headphone yes. wire and yes. bailed on the floor? Okay, I just wanted to make sure somebody saw that. <laughs> I, it's, I, I didn't want that to go to waste. Um, all right. Anyhow, um, that's all I had to say. Sorry. Hopefully, Sorry. Uh, my army here clipped that. All right. Uh, <laughs> so that we can all share um, that wonderful moment. Um, next, Drew. Uh, yeah, I would just say that once again, I, I think that using diagnostic tools for this is the best solution insofar as there's like an exception to the rule at either age limit, whether that's young or old. Uh, if it turns out to be the case that we have a tried and true way to test brain development, and I don't really think age is the best way to do this. I think that examining the particular person is the best and also using diagnosticians also help, makes it so we don't have to talk about the mental health of public figures in speculative ways, which is unhealthy and bad. Um, and uh, I think I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Polar. Um, yeah. Uh, you're, uh, you, you're muted. You're muted now. Hey, Can't hear you. How you doing, Wolfgar? Hope you're doing well. I mean, uh, buddy? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Can you oh, trust this on. young man to run the world? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. okay, you're having an issue. Oh, okay, hey, sorry. Buddy. I may have misunderstood. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm a little bit disoriented at the moment. Like, hey. looking at age, like, uh, uh, a, a, like, representative will end up acting. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Hey, welcome stop. back. Uh, Polar. We can't hear you. Can't hear How you. How is this possible? So I, uh, I know you're good. You're good. Now I hear him. You're cutting in oh, and out. I don't know. You're cutting in and oh. out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I think computer. you're right. I think you're right. Oh, I don't disagree. Trash. There's um, not like so that there's maturity. To reiterate level. my point. Okay. My point is that there seems to be a stronger correlation, right? Um, or to, to rephrase, there seems to be a weaker correlation between the age and the way that I would say the cognitive ability of individuals in uh, in Congress in comparison to actually looking at the diagnoses and then their cognitive ability. That seems to be a much more effective goal because what we care about, right, is making sure that they have the cognitive ability to act as a legislator, right? That's the that's the main point to be presented. And it seems like that's much more effective than just looking at age, which may not do the thing that we're even looking out uh, that we sought out to do. Um, if you think this uh, this kid is not 
fully capable of running this country better than our last five presidents, um, then I think you shouldn't be a voter yourself because clearly you have bad decision-making skills. All right, thank you for that. Um, moving on, uh, I will go to Fnatic. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think if, the thing is we, we got to recognize that when we have these kind of conversations, I mean, I guess it's really, really simple because social media and things like that kind of limit our ability to truly engage in this and we're used to giving these like little short- Hey, thank you, so much, really thank you so much, Wolfgar. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. limit things based on something arbitrary, it just, I mean, I feel like we should have learned historically that we've been doing that for quite some time. We've like, like evaluated women's ability to be leaders uh, based off of their sex. At one point, we've, we, there are plenty of people that would want to evaluate, uh, you know, like the, the potential of individuals based off of their race. Um, you obviously have all the, you know, um, the white nationalist groups. Uh, I think they just said uh, over 54% of, of Trump supporters believe that blacks are intellectually inferior. Um, Jesus Christ. Like that. So, like that's, this that's idea a, that's that we a, would like try to base it on something arbitrary. I would love to see that number like should have been for sure, but holy fuck, if now. that's true. Over the history Oof. of this country and how people were like literally trying to deny humanity over the skin color of someone. It just seems so ridiculous that we would now then say, oh, say okay, it, won't no, it will no longer be about skin color, but now we'll just make it about age. Or now we'll just make it about like any of these things that people can't control. I think the best thing is to try to find some diagnostic way of looking at people's capability and capacity in any, in any, like in anything the thing that they're performing. So that we don't end up making and repeating the mistakes of some of our forefathers, uh, well, not mine, but anyway, just some of people's forefathers, and uh, you know, start marginalizing certain individuals. I just think that's a terrible idea. Like, obviously, diagnostic, di diagnostics. Yeah. All right, uh, Doobie? Uh, I agree with everything Fanatic just said. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think I think my position has shifted a little bit. I started out, uh, you know, kind of. Um, uh, unsure as to like whether one side was correct or the other. No, I think I'm firmly on the side of, you know, just no remember, maximum age limit. There are plenty of limit. masters, and we'll just, psychology just do students who don't know what the fuck are, they're talking about politically. Uh, are capable of performing their duties. Mm, no. Yeah, That's I agree, it. Sussy Sinister. We did it. We did it, Doobie. We no. moved you. I love you, brother. I move sometimes. <laughs> the fuck? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm willing to be charitable, uh, too. Move closer uh, to uh, the gates of hell, I think. Um, but all right, moving <laughs> moving on. Uh, thank you, uh, Demon Mom. Um, do you have uh, something else to say on this topic? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I uh, again, I, I think that there is all kinds of um, interesting, like biological facts that we can discover about ourselves. Um, but we should be very careful when we put those things into law. Um, I mean, especially on something that's so hard to quantify as like leadership ability. Like, I mean, um, I mean, people joked about it, but it's like, I mean, what's to say that like an 18 year old with like a 75% developed prefrontal cortex isn't a uh, considerably better leader than Donald Trump, right? Like who ha probably has a fully developed prefrontal cortex. Like in reality, there's all kinds of things that go into cognitive decision making other than just like the, the skull measuring, like brain size measuring kind of stuff that goes on. So I'm always very sus of like biological essentialism being wrote into law. Instead, it would be just as easy for us to be informed by whatever data we can find about like human development and build a law that helps test people for that. Um, that doesn't just say, oh, we're going to just put the line here and then call it good because you could be missing out and or excluding people who could otherwise do a lot of good. I mean, wouldn't you, if you had like a, or, or, or here's another example. What if somebody has like 80% of their prefrontal cortex developed, but they've just like devoted their life to understanding like, I don't know, like domestic policy or, or economics and they're just really, really good and they could actually fix a, some serious problems and we rule them out because, oh, their prefrontal cor cortex, according to these studies, is not actually there, so we're going to cut it off at 25. Same thing goes for somebody who's older. You throw somebody out who's got experience who could actually be doing good just because they hit some random la age limit. I think this is ridiculous. Yo, okay. for that person that has that 80%, I can't wait for the next two years when they finally be, uh, hit the age group where they can finally run our country and do some really good stuff. <laughs> God damn right. Um, but uh, and if you're talking polar, we can't hear you. Um, <laughs> so uh, moving on. Uh, so uh, moving on though. Um, I just so oh, you know, uh, I I do think we should have something um better than simply a hard limit, right? Because mm. um, I think my man Bernie Sanders um, I should certainly um hey, still have a monkey. chance of of running if he so uh chose. Yeah, um, I mean, so yeah, true, I. 
but I needed fucking conflict here. So I, I, I'm more than happy to fight it myself. Uh, and I wanted you to justify your positions because I think it's an interesting topic one way or the other. Um, so uh, moving on, uh, so I heard some disagreement as to what should be our next and final topic here. Um, so uh, Drew, you wanted to, it to be the, uh, which topic you said? I like the bonus topic about the the bombing and terrorism and stuff. I think it's more. Okay, so I, I'll put it up to a quick vote, guys. Yeah, yay or nay for each one, right? So, uh, or, or uh, just tell me topic for your bonus topic, okay? Let me just take um, so we can figure out, this out. I'm going to quickly read both of them and then uh, we'll decide. Topic three: The Trump foreign policy has long been criticized on, on the left for being incoherent. But are there any parts of it that you agree with? Has Trump's stance on North Korea been beneficial? Uh, Syria, Turkey, Prussia, Israel? Uh, what about Trump's overall stance to starting armed conflict? Uh, what aspects of the Trump policy uh, should Biden continue with? All right, that's topic three. Top, uh, the bonus topic is, on Christmas Day, a bomb was uh, set off in Nashville in an apparent act of terror. The response to this act was swift, but some may see a difference between this and how America reacts to attacks with the perceived Islamic extremist uh, uh, connection. Should the response to an attack be any different depending on its source? Are white nationalists, Christian extremists, or Islamic extremists uh, attacks all equally uh, a threat to America's national oh, security? Oh, this is a good one. All right. Like and this, this is the uh, question provided by CounterPoint. All right. So um, uh, you tell me, uh, topic three, a bonus topic, right? Down the line. Vadim. Um, I, if we had a lot of time, I'd, I'd want to go for the first topic. But since we don't, I think the second one is more suitable. Got it. All right. Uh, bonus. Go ahead, uh, Anna. Bonus topic or topic three? Um, sorry. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. That's the line. Moving on. Uh, uh, counterpoints. I'm sorry. I'm Bo- still looking both. at my research. I, I seriously, I love both, and I think I could have a good conversation about both. All right. A filthy centrist. Uh, completely unhelpful. Completely useless, as always. Um, Polar. Topic three. Topic three. All right. Um, uh, split. So we're going to. Um, oh, Drew has already voted. He says bonus topic. So it's two, two to one. Uh, fanatic. I uh, can't hear you. Uh, pro streamer. <laughs> uh, there's one that had Christian in it. I want to go with that one so I can go and pop off again. Oh, boy. Uh, the what? Which one? Uh, sorry, the the one that had Christian extremism or something. Oh, like oh, oh, oh okay. okay. So oh, um, that's a bonus topic. Got right. a bit of a bias um, there. My go friend. ahead, uh, Demon Mama. Yeah, I, I, I'm feeling the bonus topic, honestly. All right, Doobie, everyone gets a vote. Bonus Unless, topic. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. In your system, spe- specifically, not everyone gets a vote. Uh, so. I still get a vote in my system. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, so we'll do our bonus topic. Um, I'll get quickly. Uh, wait, did Anna make some good else. points? Um, uh, wait, oh, wait, hey, where? Dylan, Dylan we'd love to channel. have you. Dylan, if you're still there, we would still love to have you. You can still jump in. Um, but... Uh, Okay, so uh, the bonus topic is fucking. Yo, that's it. weird, stuck. All right, um, yikers. A bo- bonus topic yes, is he did. once again for the audience. On. Unironically, um, he did. Uh, on Christmas Day, Obama set off in Nashville any apparent act of terror. Uh, the response of, to this act was swift, but some may see a difference between this and how America reacts to attacks with a perceived Islamic extremist connection. Uh, should the response to an attack but be any different depending on its source? Yep. Are white nationalist Christian extremists or Islamic extremist attacks all equally a threat don't know, to American Rose, But he did. He Again, said at the very beginning. Our, our, our guy uh, counterpoints for providing this. Um, and quickly before uh, we move on, I just want to say thank you to uh, uh, Gringo Guapo for that uh, 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. That's how we keep this uh, um, uh, show powered. That's how we keep going, right? Uh, if you can, please sub to this channel. Likewise, uh, for me, please give subs y'all. if you can. Please give bits. All of that. Um, also, we have a PayPal button below uh, that helps keep this going. Follow if you haven't followed before. We had this conversation all the time. All right, moving on. Um, Vadim, your uh, answer, your introduction statement. Wow. Um, thank you for, I don't know, um, picking me first every single time. Um, we just fair. go by the, the, the order yeah. on the screen. Okay. No, it's because I'm special. Um, but, Here, I'll uh, move myself down gosh, so you can see. I, I, I would dean. actually like to hear more of what others have to say. I, this is something that I didn't have a chance to consult the like the numbers on. I do believe that there is, um, at least since 9-11, significantly more uh, either, like, I don't know if it's Christian extremism. I, I think it's more Maybe? Like, under the banner of, of like, white nationalism matter? and things like that. I, I didn't find but the argument I super compelling. I do believe that it, 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 it supersedes or, or is, is greater than um, what we've had in terms of uh, Islamic terrorism since 9-11. 
Uh, so I, I, you know what? I, I think that when we're, when we're saying, um, when we're talking about rather, uh, the response. Yeah, we can give her. We can give her a be benefit. We should of not that. just factor yeah. in the response. I agree that with you. The I think that's fine. Self has. We should also be talking about how are the media responding to it. Uh, who who is sensationalizing these these events? Because that in itself can also be detrimental. Uh, often is. So I guess since it's just a one minute opening statement, I guess I'll just leave it at that and expand more later. All right, uh, Anna. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying. Calling someone else, damn it! I need to read this again. <laughs> sorry. All right. I'm, ar um, I'm arguing with people in chat over research methodology. I can argue with people here. You're here to argue with the people here. Okay. Anna, I right hear. Anna, the, the the questions are in the dis the Discord for yeah, the group. I know, so, I know. Okay, okay. Just like calling me last. <laughs> All right, Connor. Yeah, so bit, yeah. I'm going to try to be on my best behavior for this because often what happens is I get, you oh, know, boy, fucking triggered and then fucking make shitty arguments and then I get straw man, then I get pissy and then I have to make a fucking 20 minute fucking response video talking about the nuanced version of shit. So I already have True. a 40 minute response True. Video, uh, about um, Islamic terror um, and uh, basically it's called Islamophobe. You should go check it out. And it, you know, th there's a reason why we respond to jihadism different than we do white nationalist terrorism. There's a reason why right wing terrorism um, is an umbrella term that includes like anti governmental violence, white nationalist violence. Like it literally incorporates like so many different kinds of terrorism that it's nuts. If you actually matched it uh, per capita since 9 11, not including 9 11, and you uh, made the Muslim population of the United States. Um, equivalent to that yeah, of fine. the white of population of the United States. I understand there's a difference between religion and race, blah, blah, blah. We can get into it. Uh, it would be equivalent to about 4,000 people a year uh, for jihadist terrorism. So there is a real problem with jihadist terrorism. And the reason why I get pissy um, is because we play this bitch. game of hide the ball where we just pretend that this ideology doesn't exist or we pretend that it's not relevant or we pretend that it doesn't affect our world. We can get into how this American is so stupid. Foreign policy oh, this is going to be so American good. I'm going to tear into this guy. These issues. Um, but jihadist terrorism is real, and there's a reason why we talk about it fucking differently. Jihadist Specifically terrorism. Specifically, when we're talking about watch. the Christmas bomber, this guy who probably was uh, I know he was a five G yeah. internet or whatever. He's an ex-cop. He literally had an intercom system warning people to get away from the bombing site. There is a different okay. morality in play in this specific terrorist uh, terrorist instance that isn't in play in jihadist terrorism. So, I'm looking forward to getting into the nitty gritty. Me too. Okay. Me too. Um. Yes, he's defending uh, Next, them. we'll go to uh, Polar. Um, I just... Uh, Counterpoints made some interesting uh, point about compar comparing, like, jihadist terrorism in comparison to the amount of, I think you said, Muslims in America, but that's not necessarily what we care about. We care about the threat um, that these groups um, actually provide to America, right? Not in comparison to the people here. I think that's a very odd and weird comparison to make. Um, I don't think that's the, the goal of how we should ha uh, like handle counterterrorism. Um, I will say that like watch this like empirically it seems like there's a greater threat when it comes to oh watch far, he's already like, getting far, mad like, watch right, uh, this is gonna be so right wing easy. terrorism watch this. but that is broad watch. and that's probably something get ready everyone this is gonna be fun account. so that, that first one is a little odd though I have to be honest okay oh, all right uh, counterpoints a suspect all right so FBI uh, <laughs> get a hand on him um Drew um yeah so I, I did a little bit of research on this today because i actually wasn't sure um and what i looked into I, I couldn't find any differences in like the way we treat like particular types of incidents but i just looked up like terrorism across the world to try to answer the question of like what's the biggest threat to america's national security and it seems like the most active the five top five most active terrorist groups in the world are all islamic extremist groups um and it's so, like the, the greatest, like the worst terrorist attack in the United States by far was 9-11. Um, I've looked, I have some, I looked at a, a study, I guess it was like a collection of I love data. This is going to be so much uh, fun. I think it was the Anti-Defamation League about the, about like right-wing terrorism. And I assume some people will get into that. So I have some points to address that I'm particular ready. data. I'm ready. I'm so that ready. Terrorism is this is going to be problem. great. Um, oh, to me, this is purely oh, an empirical question. So if I'm wrong back. about it, it doesn't really make a difference to me. But it seems that I'm given so the ready. I'm so fucking ready. Groups in the world are uh, Islamist extremist ones. It seems to be the case that we should consider them most in terms of national security, given that national security isn't just domestic. It's uh, 
it's just national security general. So, yeah. Uh, next, uh, we will go to uh, Fanatic. I'm ready. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. Whew. So, yeah, I there's no possible way you're going to sit here and be on this panel and then do some, like, legit mental gymnastics and be like, well, look, if we take the numbers and then alter them in a way so that these populations are equivalent, that we can term, end up determining that these, these people are more of a threat. Like, that's so ridiculous and uncharitable. Like, we have numbers for the actual attacks that are taking place, and the vast majority of them are white. Sorry. Drew, the reason why yeah. when you look up terrorism and you're you're finding these numbers and finding that they're all Islamic is because anytime there's a terrorist attack that happens to be from a white male, which is the vast majority of them since 9-11, they won't label it as a terrorist attack. Instead, they will they will label them Actually, as he's right on a this. lone wolf or yep. an independent We're on a team with Fanatic this time. Oh, I'm ready for blood. That, which you get ready. Talked about in these panels before, where it I'm seems fucking like ready. I'm thirsty. Person color, that, that person of color's <sighs> actions tend to defame the entire group. Fanatic gets a good whereas, one once um, in a while. to the contrary, whenever it's a white person doing something evil or nefarious we look at them as a as a lone wolf so we'll look at dylan wolf or you know any any of them i don't have to name any person literally all of them they're never it's 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 it, it, it's this seems like there's as many mechanisms as possible to dissociate those individuals from the group with which they ally uh, um, and, and and so as a result i'm ready never, i'm charging it's up really hard to get these numbers thank god i'm charging up my hyper beam releasing this and we recognize the biggest threat to america right now happens to be white neo-national conservative retard true it re is kind of uh, uh, ridiculous people <laughs> yeah i did it for you polar's world second one <laughs> good save <laughs> okay so uh, see i don't ahead, i'd rather uh, team up mama? with the yeah Okay, so, wow, there's a lot of stuff to address already here. Um, I, besides the uh, the terminology used, I, I find myself um, agreeing um, with Fnatic but for, for a couple of different things. So, okay, so first off, the definition of terrorism is a huge, huge problem. And and in uh, Connor Point's um, intro, there was, like, a lot of uh, really obvious, like, I understand why you get emotional about this. And it's because you ha you clearly have, like, a really big emotional attachment to the issue. Um, and I, and I get it, I guess, but it's pretty obvious that, that, that it's biasing you like saying that like, oh, well, right wing terrorism doesn't include far right Islamic groups. That's a little bit weird to me. The groups that are involved in terror among Islam, Islamic groups are usually very far right themselves, which is a little bit interesting. Um, but the other thing too, is that like, there's this implication that's been said, um, in this conversation that like people pretend that it doesn't happen. Uh, does has have you been living in an alternate reality you do realize that like racial profiling has been rampant in our country like to the degree that literally children's uh, muslim children groups in new york had federal agents embedded in them this is a matter of public record so yeah it's not like anyone's pretending in fact we're we're extremely obsessed with it to the degree that we're actually being really weird towards everyday muslims it's really pretty fucked and then there's another thing that I wanted to address, which is that um, it's a second sort of part of this whole idea of what the definition of terrorism is. Terrorism is um, literally one of the hardest things um, to define, in fact. Um, on an international level, there's been no consensus. It's been frozen up in the UN for some time. I did an entire debate on this particular topic. The de definition of terrorism is really hard to work out. And it's really funny. You can make it look like basically anybody in the world is the number one worst terrorist group, depending on how you define it. Like, for example, how, what do we consider it when... Um, a nation invades another nation unprovoked on false charges and ends up destroying the entire economy, killing millions of people um, using a lot of remote tactics, uh, literally employing mercenaries who shoot people in the head. You know, was, is that not really like a form of terrorism? Is, is, is carpet bombing other countries or using napalm or all of these other things that the United States regularly engages, is that not a justified form of terrorism? Well, as it turns out, if you get to define what the, deter what the term terrorism means, you know, you can get away with just about anything. So I find this conversation to be always very frustrating, especially when engaging with members of the right who will do basically anything to justify the the um, the uh, actions of, of large states that they agree with while ignoring um, any of those uh, any of those of the negative outcomes of those actions. So, yeah. OK, thank you. So, yeah. Um, Anna. Yeah. So from um, my uh, understanding of what uh, 
data sh suggested i do kind of i pretty much agree with fanatic that it's it seemed like the see you for now biggest, sumner like thanks um, for coming by the most significant threat to um american civilians uh, is the audio too low sorry last, i'll try and turn her up like give me a second four years or something uh, is white nationalist terrorism it's um but yeah i mean it is true that it it tends to not it it it's kind of just recently that is that better we, uh defined them as a, a part of a uh terrorism okay there we yeah, go it, it did you it was usually uh just people well m muslim mostly yeah yeah fix uh, it db or should have um i think uh demon mama kind of touched on most of my point but i think you could expand that further to uh violence right so so when we because a lot of people use like the fbi definition of terrorism which is like unlawful violence meant to uh, I'm just I'm going off the top of my head. Um, something like unlawful violence meant to like stoke uh, fear or to coerce one to intimidate like a, a populist or a government for like political um, objectives, basically. Right now, you well, that's not that that's just off the top of my head, but something like that. But but love a candy. If cane. we use that definition, which is what people tend to use, um, you like you Mama said, you can call just about anything terrorism. Right. Um, so we need to be very clear about what we mean when we say terrorism, what, what we mean when we say violence, right, in this context. And beyond that, like the rest of it just seems like that's doobie. An empirical question. This you know, person or, right over which here. Which of these things is the most this uh, doobie? Uh, are we at most risk of dealing with the United States? It we does just look miss at the white numbers. People see which, happy. which groups are the most active and point. which groups are committing the most people terrorist happy attacks. Is a good one. I don't know if I agree that it's like a racial issue. It could be. I'm not really sold on that idea yet. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my sense right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for those of us just joining us uh, again, uh, Doobie uh, is represented by the green monster on the side of your screen. So uh, that's in case you're confused as to who's talking. All right. Um, oh, can uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't really quickly. I'm sorry. Um, so I just want to point out that uh, um, the majority of the terrorism in uh, the world today is coming from uh, cultists and outbacks um, that we should not be tolerating. Thank you. Fair enough. All right. Open to the floor. Yeah, really quick. I the, the can numbers. go. Ooh, hold on, really quick. The numbers, are, the, num the numbers are here. From 2009 uh, to 2018, the far right has been responsible uh, for 73% of domestic extremist related fatalities, according to a 2019, 2019 study. Um, FBI Director Christopher Wray told Congress in July that a majority of the Bureau's domestic terrorism investigations since October were linked to white supremacy. So, okay. Uh, it, do really you, do you, it really sucks. Seriously, dude. Really suck. Okay, it really, it, like, it, you're it, giving me heartburn like, like a motherfucker. It, 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 oh, okay, he's getting I, I, triggered I again, as I usual. Know. Let the let the heart burn, bro, because the numbers, you know, Ben Shapiro said it. Facts don't care about your feelings. Okay, oh, I, the oh, oh, I got you. Okay, got you. So if the data says 73%. Of all domestic uh, fatalities what? tend to come from white nationalists. The idea Can I respond that you to your point already? In, well, okay, when no, I finish but, my but, point, when I finish my point, the fact that you would ignore the seventy-three percent. Oh, oh my god! One, the, the, Fuck the fact, cult per capita. Calm down. The, Impulse the control. Fact, Let him finish, please. It's okay. They're there. Oh, the fact shit. that you would focus focus on the minority. Who represent the minority of us. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. If I can finish, so you're saying the same thing, but you're never going to let me finish a point. So you're never going to let me finish a point. Finish and then. Yeah, sure. Stay the same thing over and over again. And then after that, we'll go to polar. So, uh, fanatic, wrap it up so we can. I've been trying to. He just keeps over talking. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Your point So yeah, the idea, the idea that you would want counterpoints is dead. Counterpoints is is incredible. Oh my lord! When I'll you recognize be back mute. when you know uh, mute, mute. I, I, you can't right control right. yourself. Anyway, the fact that you would try to focus instead on a per capita basis when you recognize that someone represents a hyper minority, it seems a little bit charitable to yourself, and it sounds like extreme bias because we recognize that the, what the, this a loser. hyper minority uh, what fixing a loser. that issue still wouldn't fix the vast majority of cases. It just seems like you're really, really biased, and you don't want to actually deal with the fact that people that look like you are the biggest problem. You're freed. Okay, we'll go to a baby. Polar, uh, in, in lieu of a uh, counter. Okay. Sure. So I think there's a very important distinction to be made if we're going to talk about <clears throat> domestic versus um, international. 
uh, form of like a terrorism because our goal here is we need to like we need to clearly 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 disseminate whether we're trying to talk about threats to american citizens or we're trying to talk about threats he's to so american mad. he's um, such a baby it's interests, unbelievable quote unquote that's something that's very important right so are we going to talk about like um like the dhs's uh, like a uh, definition of what's going on gonna how they're characterizing pants, it or are we going to talk about Hassan? for example um uh, i saw in places like syria and um iraq like bombing uh like american interests right that that can also be considered terrorism is that what we're or is that what we're talking about or are we talking about threats to american civilians okay um yeah I'm top right's the love man. of god it's it's so annoying for fucking like fanatic i love you demon mama i respect you but like it's so annoying to act like simplest the simplest of fucking information is somehow controversial Literally, you just the gonna magic. Cry or... Shut the fuck up, demon. Wait, really? Seriously. Like, you yeah, just screamed I'm over Fnatic really like four slow. times. I don't really feel like I owe you anything. Okay, so don't owe me shit. Give me 10 seconds. Seriously, to act like per capita is some magic number that I pulled out of my dick hole is ridiculous. We use per capita this in conversation yeah, all message. the time. Not just that, but if you're looking at internationally, it's pretty clear that jihadist terrorism is a problem. In Demon Mama, you obfuscated the fuck out of this conversation where literally we're talking about the definitional difference between jihadist terrorism and white nationalist terrorism or anti-governmental terrorism, which all falls under the same branch, by the way, of like domestic right-wing terrorism. And then you just say, oh, well, it's all right-wing. Thank you very much How for does that. this contribute to the conversation? How does this help us with definitions? Wait. How does this help us narrow down the conversation okay. and actually talk about like, ideology or immigration or global policy or any of that kind of shit like you literally took a you took a fucking like a, a nuanced and deep conversation you took a fucking shaker bottle and you just went like this and you're like it's confusing now no wait you made are it you confused. are you just crying about how your death that, that uh, like if you uh, actually uh, analyze uh, wait wait uh, wait you just got uh, to talk and yeah. it's my turn to respond you yeah, whiny so baby of a human personally because i'm about you, to attack you personally. please you please try it would be hilarious you talk about Maldi you're, instead of talking about the you structure. actually, but Pick it's actually it. talk about Wait, this is actually pathetic, okay. my dude. You're like you, you're pathetic. You Wait, stupid come on, fuck. come on. Impulse stop control. It. Impulse stop control. It. Come on. Stop, stop, stop it. it. Stop. We're stopping it Make now. It hey, everyone, we're stopping it right the fuck now. Thank you, Demon Mama. Thank you. I I appreciate that. Um. Yeah. So. I don't really know. None of that was like complaints of substance. As it turns out, being able to actually being able to actually know what you're talking about when you're talking about terrorism, a definition that has been utilized by multiple governments um, to, you know, frame certain groups as worse um, is actually super important. It's actually so bad again. And I brought this up originally. I know you don't like listening because you get your emotions in the way. But um, I brought this up in the very beginning that it's actually very difficult to determine what the fuck terrorism actually means. And countries haven't agreed on it. There's actually been a huge stat, like literal, uh, what's the word? Um, stagnation. What's the word? When you, an impasse that's been reached in the UN for years over what the definition of terrorism should actually be. Because if you're very broad and you say, oh, it's violence for a political end. Well, that's most violence. Most violence is for a political end. Does that mean that every country is going to be? A so yeah, I don't know what you're getting all mad about but it's like it seems like you're mad that you can't just bend the, the 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 terminology to just fit your ending like you can't just go like oh i i hate muslims and we shouldn't let them in or whatever it is that you want to rant about but that's what it sounds like to me because none of nothing that you just said was of stu substance whatsoever okay can I, can I can i address this because it's literally just like it's personal okay. attacks mixed with bullshit you address it and then i want to go to a polar bin all right okay Talking about per capita, like like terrorism, it's this nebulous definition. We have no idea what we're talking about. You know why def you know why terrorism is kind of a nebulous definition? It's because there's armed fucking militias in different fucking countries that different fucking governments all fucking fund all at the different time. Like so, for instance, the fucking narcos in South America. What does any of this mean? and all that. What kind does of any of this mean? Yeah, sure. What but whenever it, somebody walks into mean? a fucking public place and starts executing civilians, and it's not the fucking government, generally speaking, we. We all mutually understand this is bad as not something that we want to replicate as not as something that we don't want in our society. So to just this say, is all feels. oh, well, you know, basically like we don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. You're the one who's making this conversation difficult for no fucking reason because most people understand what I mean when I say the fucking word terrorism. 
So Most wait, would you consider? It. Wait, would you consider? Oh, hold on, quick question. Oh, quick question. Hey, it's wait. my turn. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, please pull it. So, um, yeah, counterpoints. You made a specific point about like, hey, you're like, it's too broad to call out. All, like, just this is all terrorism. feels. So, if, for example, if we look at like white extremist yeah. terrorism, we also realize like looking at like a DHS's like most recent data. I don't know if you've looked at it, um, but like. I'll link it in chat. They did a clear, clear like data representation of terrorist attacks posing a threat to life in the United States. You may have already seen it. Um, but white, like white supremacist, like uh, white supremacist extremism poses the most threat. They've killed the most yeah, um, in probably. the year of like we'll twenty to twenty nineteen. So you're also you mentioning sure. So, so what? What's the number? What's the number? Um, it looks. I'm pretty. For my looking, it's thirty eight. Okay, so so let's take. 38 and let's figure like seriously like i get that we get to draw this arbitrary thing where like 9 11 happened in some fucking long 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 ago it didn't it happened when i was a fucking teenager so saying that terrorism attacks post 9 11 are their own fucking statistic to count i have no idea why it's an arbitrary decision on the behalf of fucking people who talk about geopolitics to exclude 9 11. what is if he you even talking about 38 fucking homicides related to fucking terrorism in the united states and you you divided three thousand by it how many fucking decades does it take to fucking catch up to 9 11. Okay. Oh, that's a really bad way of looking at this counterpoints because the goal why? of this is to and I'll, I'll go into it right so the goal of this is to understand the future threat right why do we specifically look at like why do we look at past data we try to look at it sure. to determine the threat in the future right this is a so, massive ma so and let me this ask is a you massive another question sure so, go for so it. let me ask you another question if we if we broach this outside oh. of the continental united states and we start talking Whoa. about international terrorism. No, nope, what nope, happens then? No, 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 that's not why not a fanatic. Hey, 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 this is the counterpoint from Bosch's channel. Yes, he's a sad. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hey, everyone stop. I'm in charge of this. Wow. I decide who talks. No one else. So I say Poli now. Go ahead, Poli. So our goal is is to determine the threat to American citizens, right? When we look at, for example, ISIS, when we look at, for example, um, like whether for like a um, the Kurtz the Cuts Force is funding like terrorist groups, these are in the Middle East, right? We specifically want to look at the threat that's posed to American citizens, specifically domestic citizens, because they're not the ones who are engaged in any military warfare. They're not know. engaged in any of these things. And I would hope that most people on this panel, no as idea. I mentioned earlier, you were gone counterpoints, but I was specifically talking about how we should differentiate between uh, domestic terrorism versus international terrorism for that reason. Okay, okay, then so so we gotta move on. We gotta move on. People have been waiting. So we gotta go to uh, Vadim and then we'll go to uh uh Drew and then we'll go to D Mama, all right? So I'd like to explain why I am more concerned about white national uh or um terrorism or that is that stems from white nationalism and really just white nationalism in general. Um to tell you the truth, even though that of course I care about any legitimate act of terrorism, or I, I realize that's a poorly defined term, but you know, incidents in which people um, receive like bodily harm, of course I care about that, but I actually think that there are uh, more serious reverberations of white nationalist thought that occur within Watch this. Uh, the American zeitgeist, if you will. And- um, This is gonna be good. Like for instance, I, I, I think that a lot of white nationalist rhetoric echoes and it convinces people, more people that we need stupid uh, things like the, the border wall, things, the things that um, are, I'm, I'm sure that there's several other uh, things like the Islamic, um, uh, what, what, do you, what, what, was, what were they calling it? Uh, the, oh my God, sorry guys, I'm a little off today. Muslim? Um, ISIS? Yeah. I yeah, when 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 they, when they were trying to to, to ban Muslims um, coming into America in, in early in the Trump administration. Okay. Mochi, well, yummy. This is um, this is prime time. And, I got and, on and at the so last minute. They needed somebody, so they brought me in. Through legislation that people are trying to put through, in my opinion, I I, I think we can see kind of like the footprints of white nationalism within w within our, our brought in the our, big guns. You know, True, America, Chad Logic. Where, whereas at the same time, jihadism holds absolutely it's in, in terms of the laws that we're going to implement and whatnot it, it, it there's absolutely no threat whatsoever they have no hold within our government uh i don't know if, if, if somebody could who's insane could say elon omar I'd, I'd say you're a fucking lunatic if you say that but 
yeah, so I, I just, my, my greater point here is that um, just that, 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 that there is more than just attacks that white nationalism in itself kind of it, the the threat that it represents to our democracy and that that causes us to make really Mochi's bad so good. choices in terms of uh the, the laws i would love to have one of those or try mo mochi pass. ice cream so i mean that's something to think about i know i know that it's a, a, a little this is um this is prime kai's panel show reverie roundtable based of, on red of, of what terrorism is but i really do think that white nationalist rhetoric does have this effect and kind of like just exacerbates paranoia makes people mm. more xenophobic and just leads to really bad outcomes so for that reason i think we need to be far more vigilant of it and take it more seriously than at least the trump administration did the trump administration as far as i understand completely just wrote off i love mochi i get it from the, time to time stats on on all of this and it's just like this isn't a threat we're we're just going to uh focus on Islamic yeah that's true Sussie Sinister. i think it's it's a really bad idea and i don't know if we're ever going to actually get to that the conversation, Biden administration but... sets us on a better course when it comes to that okay all right so um we'll go to drew and then we'll go to demon mama um sure uh, i appreciate uh demon mama actually bringing up the difficulty in with defining terrorism i actually agree it's an important uh thing me too um, I would say, uh, number one, I would like Fanatic to link me the data he's referring to. I'm happy to take a look at it. Um, additionally, I think that one of the things to think about, um, and once again, I said this is an empirical matter to me. If it turns out white nationalists like are the most, like that, I don't like white nationalists. I don't really care if they end up on top. Fuck white nationalists. <laughs> um, in terms of, uh, I'm not sure deaths is necessarily the best way to measure which is the the most threat. So, like, and just to demonstrate what I'm talking about, so there was a congressional baseball shooter not intentionally several, uh, years ago where a uh, guy who was perceived to be left wing by some people went and tried to kill a bunch of Republican congressional uh, baseball players, right? Mm -hmm. And he didn't actually have a successful attack because luckily there were people there to stop him before he killed a bunch of people. But I don't think that that means that he wasn't a serious threat just because the number next to his name is zero. So I think it's important to evaluate how many attacks are happening and the severity with which they approach the situation. Because if it's the case that um, there's I can like do that 50 too. attackers on the right that have AR-15s or something like that, and then once every decade there is two planes that run into buildings, that's a problem. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be the case. I'm just saying the severity uh, is really important and the number of attacks is really important, not just how many people they happen to kill in the attack. I think that's really important to consider when we're talking about how much each type of thing Yay. is uh, in terms of a threat for terrorism. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll go to DMOM and then we'll go to Fnatic afterwards. Yeah. Um, there's like a lot of like, again, there's so much that goes into how we determine um, terrorism. And, 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 and I'm glad that you brought up like that there are, there are terrorist acts that are thwarted in the process Another such example being um, the uh, attack, the, the planned attack on uh, the um, Islam, Islamburg, the town just north of New York City, um, which was the target of a fuckload of like right uh, right wing attention. And then a a priest uh, or a pastor um, decided to make it his mission to slaughter all of the people in town, including their children. And that was written in his manifesto and he was stopped, thankfully. Um, really, really good that that's the case. Um, but the fact of the matter is that, again, um, you know, we have like the definition and how we define terrorism and what we want, you know, what we want to talk about is actually really important. And I'll bring up an example for this. And um, you can feel free to to pipe in on this if you want to, Connor points. But um, I think the example you used was like a person goes into public and kills someone in like broad daylight, um, you know, in like a really hor horrific death. I would um, respond to that by saying, wait a minute. That happened a whole bunch, including this year it happened to George Floyd, and we didn't call that terrorism. We don't call it terrorism when the police um, unload, um, a, you know, tear gas and, and, and flashbangs on peaceful protesters seven times verified on video um, across the course of a week so bad that people are choking on tear gas in their own homes. Do we not—we don't categorize that as terrorism, and yet nonetheless it is absolutely— by the definition you've used, an example of terrorism, and it certainly isn't Islamic or jihadi or whatever the terms you're going to use here are. It just seems to me like you have a very specific bias and a very specific angle you're trying to get to, and anything that doesn't agree with that angle, 
uh, you get mad about. And that's something that, um, you know, the U.S. government does that, too. It's weird. Uh, George Bush used that to start a war. Pretty weird. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think yeah, go ahead. Really and we'll let Connor respond to all of that. Sure. I think it's really insane that Counterpoints is accusing Demon Mama of obfuscating the conversation when in reality, it's written inside the freaking question. It says, uh, what was it? What, what, was the, what was the question? Are white nationalist Christian extremists or Islamic foreign ex or Islamic extremists attacks all equally a threat to American national security? But instead of focusing on that, you then instead want to start talking about global terrorism and Islam, the Islamic threat on the rest of the Interesting how that world. works, right? It has nothing to do with the attacks on the United States. And it's really easy and it's really obvious why you would want to do that because if you can start focusing on global terrorism, then we no longer have to focus on the threat that's literally affecting Americans' national security, which happens to be white neo-nationalist, uh, far-right uh, extremist conservative people. So that's one of the issues where it sounds like you're really obfuscating and being really selective um, for that, that one right there. Secondly, I do think we have a really, really simple definition definition that of the FBI uses, which I think really very much applies here, where it says violent criminal acts committed by individuals and or groups to further ideological goals stemming from domestic influences such as those of a political, religious, I don't know social, much about that prospect. Or racial, or environmental nature. Those happen to be what it is. So that way, we don't end up getting confused from terrorist attacks and random acts of homicide. Yeah, in this moment, yep. Violence is Wild. going to be a terrorist this attack. This is actually some hilarious. Guy, some, some guy wanting to carjack and, get, and all of a sudden that's considered a terrorist attack. We have definitions and they fit for a freaking reason. Unfortunately, you would like to focus on, again, the super hyper minority. And the reason why this is so absurd, let's go ahead and create an analogy of it, right? And let's see how these numbers, why, why this would make no sense to do. Say you have a society of 100 people. One of these people happens to fit one, I don't know, be, be, uh, fit, fit one class of thing and happens to be a major per, uh, uh, a part of a problem. Whereas uh, literally one of the rest of, one of the rest of the society happens to be- I agree, uh, Rain. You know, but they would, won't. Uh, be the problem. You can't then say, well, 100% per capita of this individual group is a problem so we need to deal with that when i don't know or if 30 30 uh 30 percent of society is doing another problem and you're gonna Actually, try to agree focus with on that fanatic on this as opposed to the 30 yeah. percent it seems selective and it's so obviously ridiculous and one more thing that i think is absolutely absurd here is like you're actually a freaking cop and you can't even hold a freaking conversation where somebody's literally just trying to express their points and you don't have any kind of self-control whatsoever <laughs> and then like that's supposed to inspire hope from the rest of people this True. is insane Lord True. Jesus, you're pulling me over i literally True. 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 Specifically, you now, Jesus. Okay, go ahead, O'Connor. Okay, I'm gonna go really low and slow. I'm an ex-cop. You don't have to worry about me screaming at people on the internet. Has nothing to do with what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And the reason why I get so pissy is because we're literally just mixing a whole bunch of bullshit and acting like we're making coherent points. Yes, Demon Mama, especially you. So I'll go ahead and try nice to address try. these. Nice try. Yeah, you okay. tried. You're trying. Yeah. Okay. So let, let me explain it. So the re reason why demography matters, the reason why per capita matters, the reason why breaking down information into analyses matters, the reasons why definition matters is because we want to deal with information that's actually useful. Just going, hey, did you ever think, did you think that maybe cops are terrorists too? It does nothing to further this conversation. It makes it more difficult to have. Did you say, oh, did you know that white people do terrorism too? Yeah, I did know white people do terrorism too. I also think it bad. Yeah, they okay? do a lot of it. So I'm, I'm following on that. So the whole reason why this is pertinent to the entire conversation is because we're not just talking about terrorism. We're talking about religion. We're talking about ideology. We're talking about jihadism, which definitely does have a religious component. And I would like to see anybody's citation that it doesn't, because unlike most of the people here, I've actually read the fucking Quran. I would like to... Oh, and the reason why international terrorism... No, I don't give a fuck. It's my turn. You guys talk for 20 fucking minutes and I had to listen to your dumb shit. You can wait for my fucking dumb shit. So the reason why this is pertinent to the fucking conversation is because there are statistical differences. So for instance, you were saying that per capita is ridiculous to bring up because you're only talking about one person. I'm not talking about one person. I'm talking about the entire fucking world. I have put in your chat right now, Pew Research polls that analyzes views in the entire Muslim world about suicide bombing. And guess what? It's frankly alarming. I have Muslim friends. I happen to think that based off of a very loose definition of Islam, I'm technically Muslim. I believe in God, the last day, and doing good works. So from the loosest fucking definition of what being a Muslim is, 
I'm a fucking Muslim. But at the same time, we can't pretend that jihadist ideology doesn't have a root in the Quran. We can't pretend that it's not a major problem on the fucking world stage. When Demon Mama talks about a global interventionist war that killed hundreds of thousands or millions of people, do you think the United States of America personally bombed hundreds of thousands of people in Iraq? You're fucking wrong. You're so wrong that it's triggering because the vast majority of deaths inside the war in Iraq were inter-militia homicides, you self-righteous dipshit. The fact that you can be so confidently wrong is what's infuriating to me, Demon Mama. You have a face like, oh, he's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, I do know what the fuck Dude, I'm talking you're about like, because I've you seen are, fucking you're evidence like and you just screaming. say shit while being wrong publicly. You're, you are you're really, wrong. are you okay? That's why it's frustrating. Like, are you doing okay? Yeah, right. Honestly, like, I, I feel like it might be... I'm, Wait, wait, counter points. Wait, wait, counter points. Counter points. Listen. You have one listen, meme. Listen. You have one Hold on a second. Yes, all right, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, thanks. Um, you have one meme. Yeah. De Demon Mama respond. Um, then I want to let in uh, Doobie and Pooler. Uh, okay. They've been waiting very patiently. Yeah. Before I go any further, I want to give counter points the option to, you know, say, oh, I'm not having a good night. I'm going to step out here because it really seems like you are actually not doing okay right now. And I'm being dead serious. No. If you aren't, please step back. It seems like you can't keep your head cool, even in the slightest. Okay, um, then yeah. I would like- That was your opportunity, by the way. If you continue go okay. going now, like, just know that- okay. Yeah, just wanted to I make would, sure I my ethical like to... responsibilities are out Sure, right sure, thanks for that. So I will ask you a question. Rather than saying, you mad bro, question mark, I mean, and then you are mad, though. It's clear. It. Okay, yeah, it's I'm mad. It's clear I'm you're, like, screaming you because... and you're, like, making yeah, because crazy I'm faces. I'm angry and... with you because you're wrong. You're what wrong am I wrong about? You've literally not... You've In this entire conversation, you haven't brought anything of substance to the table except for saying that everything you is... Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Let me, let me let me explain to you. Okay, please, stop it. All right, I will start muting. I will. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Uh, Dear Mama, finish what you got to say. Yeah. Uh, quickly, though, because we have, we're all running out of time. Sure, I'll, I'll try to do my best. I mean, all I'm all I'm trying to say here is that, like, the idea that um, when it's somebody I don't like, that, that like, when it's somebody that, that, that like, contra, that, that Connor points doesn't like, that he can just attribute it to, like, this vague idea of, like, jihadism, as if there isn't, like, very obvious um, Christian and America and American supremacist views that have informed the way that we engage in war around the world and the style of war that we engage in. I mean, did we, do we, have we, have we just all like collectively forgotten like that Abu Ghraib existed, that we literally were like waterboarding and torturing people, that we literally had people stand up in hoods with electrical, with batter, with car batteries tied to their arms and they were pissed on by American soldiers because, oh, oh, as it turns out, most Americans are Christians and believe that they are superior and righteous to those other people of course ideology has an import has has a, a shitload of importance in what we what we talk about but what you're trying to do is you're trying to pretend that the only negative ideology in the world is that you is one that you typically don't like and yeah you know i'm not gonna lie more and more as this conversation has gone on it really does just seem like you don't like muslim people and it's really funny because you brought out the whole i have muslim friends i could be a muslim too it's almost like uh i mean literally like it's kind of like the sort of thing that you would do when you confront like a kkk person and then they're like, well, my grandfather was might have been black. Who knows? <laughs> I can't be racist. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So, so, so can I go for it? Oh, bad. Uh -huh. Okay, wow. There are lots of people want to jump. Polar has been waiting the longest. So Polar, uh, do, um, and then um, uh, Drew. Um, after that, uh, we'll go to uh, Fnatic. Yeah, this is hilarious. Time, or else this guy's hilariously mad. Point. Go ahead, Polar. So um, I have to address a couple of points that were made. So Drew Drew did actually ask a really good question, right? He asked, Jesus um, Christ, you know, this e guy. like, even if uh, they, like uh, white supremacists, like extremists have like killed Officer the most people, down. have they committed the most attacks? Well, X they've Officer committed, down. Um, they don't care anymore. The same amount of attacks as all other domestic uh, extremists combined, like oh, homegrown, nice. like, uh, yeah, combined. That's, and that, you know, that was a good question. And I'm not saying that like you had like an intent, like that's a really good genuine question because we're trying to determine threat, right? Secondly, um, ISIS, and when we talk about like terrorism, for example, uh, it's not as like 
ideological as we may like to think when it comes to religion, right? So, for example, um, one of the major concerns of the EU when they had, like, Syrian refugees come was, like, well, what about, like, the terrorists that'll, like, that come, that'll come there and, like, do all this bad crap? And what they actually found was that the largest, uh, the most common, like, the most common reason why these individuals even engaged in terrorism was by the environment that, that was provided by their new nation, right? Whether they accepted them, uh, whether their communities were accepting and allowed them to thrive, or if... Um, or if like the like, because the way that ISIS, for example, will work is that they'll push out a lot of propaganda yeah, from the Western really world, cool. right? If these new if these I refugees like come to the country and they realize that like oh my God, ISIS was right, the Western world hates me, I right? Disagree with Polar um, on that's actually one of the really cool. largest. That's like probably the largest reason why so many young people actually get involved. It has little to do with religion, like less to do with religion than most people will think. And then next, ISIS is highly geopolitical, right? So when we think of terrorism, for example, uh, and we like oh it's just like a jihadism, right? And jihadism does play it like into effect but a lot of it has to do with the geopolitical situation so the collapse of the join a white supremacist or gang the collapse of uh pakistan and no afghanistan initially for a couple in the years 80s. Gonna, it's not, not as like religious as we like to think it is it's highly 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 geopolitical when it comes to the grabs for power okay uh so we'll go to uh, uh doobie then true so you were talking about this this uh pure research poll you posted um, and I just want to point out yeah, that, that's what I as said. Fanatic yeah. said at the White start of this, gang, this is the about yep. uh, the threat to American national security. So you posting this poll, which is about yep. Islamic extremism in the Middle East. Doobie is talking is, right now. Uh, no camera. Me, not America. Um, is a pretty obvious attempt to stuff. deflect from the fact that if we stick to the question that, that, we, that we've been asked a topic, the reality is right-wing extremists, white nationalist extremists are the greatest threat to American national security today. Now, if you want to talk about the Middle East or whatever else, that's not what we're talking about right now. And and I think that to me, I mean, it's pretty clear to me. Bit. The only reason you'd bring that up is because you have like some kind of like knee jerk reaction, right? Where you, you just don't want to talk about the fact that, that right wingers actually commit a lot of terrorism in the United States. Mm. Because I can't see any other reason to just throw up, oh, Muslims, you know, oh, Muslims in the Middle East. We're, we're talking about the United States here, right? And And I just got to agree with Fanatic. Um, the lack of impulse control you've demonstrated here just, again, makes me really happy you're not a cop anymore. I, I, <laughs> I can't understand why you call the Green Squad on people. Okay. I uh, drew. <laughs> okay. Um, I tried to tell yeah, him. So I told him he could leave, here. but he wouldn't. Um, I would say, Listen, no matter all, how bad he's doing, he was given a warning. Bringing that out. Um, I, I would note that I didn't just say number of attacks. I said severity uh, as well, not, not in terms of like deaths but also like what type of attack it was attempted to be um that's important too uh i would also appreciate if everybody like that made statistical claims if you could link your it was doobie who said that so i can actually it was doobie. evaluate it i would Dove appreciate that doobie um and i as much as i don't want to hop in on the dog pile i kind of feel like obligated to defend connor a little bit here um you don't got I, it i wouldn't i really would be really careful about assuming people's motives here like i I don't think like this is a difficult conversation to have. I don't think that people should jump in and start assuming he doesn't like Muslim people or anything like that. And if you, I think that um, also, I think per capita data is important. And if you think that we should value uh, like raw number data over per capita data, I think that that's a discussion he's willing to have. But I think that the issue was like initially it felt like there was a lot of hostility immediately out of the gate about the per capita thing even though we can talk about this in a manner in which we're not actually attacking Connor specifically. And I don't think Connor would have an issue if someone said, yeah, per capita data is important, but we should consider raw numbers in this way because we're talking about the actual effect on the country. I don't think he would be upset about that type of thing. I think that I what's think he happening here is there's something else going on he here that be. isn't like, I think there's there's a lot of talking past each other here. So just, mm, yeah, that's that's maybe. what I would say about that. Um, yeah, no, wait, no, 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 hold on. Because he said I was next. He did. He did say that earlier. I just want to throw this out there really quick. Uh, just, so, just so we're really clear here, um, it's not a matter of us all talking past each other. Like it's and and you want to say like, oh man, I, I think if we just kind of like talk calmly, whatever, da, 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 da. But this guy already admitted before the conversation started that he was going to be freaking triggered, and then clearly demonstrated that he was very, very, very triggered, and then cut me off literally the entire time while I was talking. Like it's been happening this entire yep, time. And he does then it every he, single time. To completely obfuscate the conversation and start talking about all sorts of things. True. And then cut off someone so and then started like making personal attacks 
this no yeah. like that's 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 not just we're all talking past each other just we're talking about a topic that's been very clearly demonstrated that i've then reread and then he proceeded to immediately afterwards go and start talking about extraneous nonsense and i get it you when you're triggered and you're frustrated because everybody's getting up on you it's i can't really expect you to genuflect in a situation and admit that you're wrong but it's very obvious that you're wrong the numbers are there we've been listing them I, clearly as i as I, let, I said earlier um I, I read the definition of terrorism i told you that 73 percent of the terrorists attacks happen to be white neo-nationalists and then you wanted to start talking about per capita and i understand why typically you want to talk about per capita but it doesn't make sense to talk about per capita here because we're literally just talking about number of attacks if we're going to be talking about number of attacks in this specific situation and we recognize that these people it's not yeah, like the per capita numbers are changing dramatically it's not like there's some insane he looks like he's gonna of die of muslims entering Is the country okay? so you need to recognize per capita Jesus what the, what the ramifications are going to be if the numbers are pretty static and pretty stagnant then at that point just felt focusing on the amount of terrorist attacks that are going to be happening makes the most sense and that'd be the most sense in trying to do, deal with terrorist uh, looks attacks. Awful. so like the idea he uh, literally it's literal just just over and over and over um like uh, d uh obfuscating the conversation it's really 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 simple white neo-nationalists are the largest threat we have it directly from the fbi director we have all the data and statistics on it um i, I linked the i linked the freaking study uh, I, I linked a quote from director ray uh, on the freaking channel where we all discussed stuff so it's there he knows it Wild like that's that's shit. literally what it is I, I i'm i'm tired of like entertaining the open to the notion and one more thing don't sit here and say that you got muslim friends and then and the same token go in and say yeah i mean i'm basically mo muslim because i believe in god too that shows such a lack of understanding of what muslim faith is in the first true place. So you try to use that as an argument that's like basically saying i got plenty of black friends and i mean i'm basically black too, <laughs> and then yep. off total unrelated true nonsense, and then to use no. that as an argument it shows such no. a lack of understanding Dude, it's you so, guys have so, been going for 20 minutes and I, it's please. absolutely insane bro you're dishonest as freak okay all right so respond respond to that um and then oh, Jesus God, Christ. Uh, i know i know i know polar look i know i know don't don't be mad at me please um uh respond to that quickly um and then we're gonna go to uh final statements okay i seriously seriously recommend because th this is what's so frustrating about this entire conversation is you guys are acting like i'm coming from a position of ignorance and i'm not it's something that i've studied has anybody else here read the quran it's a 14 hour audiobook I yes. suggest you read it because it's yes. very straightforward. Okay, so would you agree with me that the first half of it is pretty consistent that in order to be a Muslim, you need to believe in God the last thing and do good works? Would you believe in that? Because if you don't believe in that, I don't think you read the fucking book. Would it's you the same agree thing with me? In that Christianity, that's not no, so that's it's, to the thing no, that, that it's are not in your fucking line. You're fucking lying. What? So shut up. Even God is literal. No, done. the you're entire lying. Christianity is lying. Okay, okay, you're lying. Say it. You're, you're lying. lying. We're, we're out of time. Okay. We can't. We can't do this. So finish. Okay. So finish your point. Th this can be. This can be my closing point. Okay. So fucking. I have no idea. So so demon mama, your two fucking memes when it comes to me is you're mad, bro, and you didn't make a point. So I'm gonna articulate very specifically the points that I made. So hopefully you understand them and maybe you can address them rather than just saying you mad bro and you didn't make a point. So here's a few of my fucking points. Per capita does fucking matter. When we live in a globalized society, when we're talking about mass immigration, where we're talking about basically probably one of the largest movements of human beings from different countries to different countries in the entire world, per capita matters. Their ideology matters. Jihadism is not just something that affects the United States. It affects the entire fucking world. So while you individually might say that in the year of our Lord 2020, white nationalist terrorism is disproportionately affecting fucking society, the Muslim population of the United States is only 1%. And yet they're probably kicking up about 40% of the terrorism attacks on an annual basis. So if you significantly increase the amount of people who are here who are sympathetic to jihadism, like I fucking linked you in the goddamn study that you're ignoring, then basically you're increasing the chances that jihadist terrorism is going to happen in the United States. And even if it doesn't happen in 2020, by 2025, 2030, 2040, 2050, it's still going to have a fucking effect. So to ignore that is obnoxious and you're wrong and being loudly wrong doesn't make you more right. Hey. So fucking, no, I'm not done. Thank oh. you. I listened to you for fucking 20 minutes. Ignoring the link between thinking, religion and ideology is dumb and naive. Seriously, like if you you have 
three hours a day to talk to random people on the internet, seriously go to audible.com, download the Quran, listen to it, and then you and I can have an informed discussion about what the second half of the Quran is. Because frankly, fanatic, you kind of just proved to me that you didn't read the fucking book. All right, finally, here's another point. In the war in Iraq, we didn't carpet bomb hundreds of thousands or millions of people. You're fucking lying, and that's Actually, a point that you said, Demon Mama. And it was a point that I said you were wrong on that you failed to address. So while you can huff and puff and fucking scoff in your fucking in front of your chat and shit, it's a point that I made that you failed to address. So no, fuck you. I reject your fucking perception that I didn't make any points. It's obnoxious and it's stupid. So finally, with Polar's world, the material conditions do matter. This is why oh, Polar was like, when people aren't saying dumb shit in front of me, I am thought of as the sensible right-wing person because I care about material <laughs> conditions. What? I care about geopolitics. I to care who? about international interventionism that causes misery on the entire planet. And I would like it if we could all be a fraternity of men on the face of the planet, not killing the fuck out of each other over fucking bullshit. So you can straw man me, you can say I'm a fucking Nazi, you can say that I'm a fucking white nationalist sympathizing piece of shit, but you don't know who the fuck I am. And frankly, that's why I get pissed off. Because you don't listen to what I'm saying, you put words in my mouth, you put perspective in my mouth, and then you are loudly incorrect. And it's frustrating. So no, fuck you both. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen to my audience, to my audience, right? Um, what's gonna happen is these people are going to give uh, final statements, right? Um, and then after that, after that, uh, we are going to roll on to our walk-on panel, right? So the stream will not be over. We're going to roll on to our walk-on panel right after they give final statements. And, when, and that walk-on panel, audience members like you, yes, you, can be a part of the uh, discussion, right? We can talk about everything that's happened here and then other topics as well, right? So we're going to talk about all kinds of things. So if any of that interests you, we have these conversations all the time. Please give me a follow. There's a lot of new people here. We're up to 290 people, uh, which I never happened on my own without a raid uh so that's great thank you all for being here but if this interests you please give me a follow we do this all the time six days a week we give oh, it's content, his, his right? camera tomorrow uh, we'll have camera. amazon lily where we'll have a uh, all woman panel um in which uh we'll talk about issues uh a focus on uh uh on women obviously i guess um and then um i guess that's pretty obvious uh then on thursday uh we'll have our all black everything panel if you can't figure out what that's about then don't follow me um uh, and then uh, on uh, saturday we'll have our our populist panel um but then also six days a week six days a week we have a walk on panel, panel where you yes you can be involved so if any of that any of that at all interests you please give me a follow it's a, it's a interesting we have a really good time the walk on panel yes can be crazier than what you just saw here um if you don't know about that oh man <laughs> you gotta stick around because you'll find uh, some uh, nonsense coming out of people's mouths. So thank you all for being here. And also, and if don't you, worry, uh, uh, we're still doing stuff after please, this. So there's lots of content um, uh, still to come. We're going to talk right? with the Scrub King and maybe coming. even with Chud so Logic keep, if Chud uh, Logic is still around. Uh, this uh, content uh, coming your way. Uh, please uh, donate bits, donate subs, or use the PayPal button below. That's what we need yeah. um, uh, to uh, well, keep me fed, honestly. So um, we're going to do uh, uh, closing statements now. But again, the stream is not over. We will be doing the walk on panel next. Thank you. All right, uh, Vadim. Uh, we had an American president who was helped quite a bit, more than a lot of people either acknowledge or recognize by white nationalists. Um, Steve Bannon had very close ties to them. Um, Milo Yiannopoulos, it's, it's, it's been, you know, that there have been emails exposed that where they were talking about ways in which they could use effective memes to the is kind of, a lefty um, just uh make the deem does cc Trump a, but uh, uh cc is retiring because cc is getting old for, for, for kids and creationist the and cat is actually getting old so they're not the reason why i yeah. bring all this up again it's is just now. because i i know we didn't talk about it much and maybe it seems far-fetched because we're, we're, we're talking about mostly bodily harm and incidents in which people are are just thanks for uh, that quote you know, actually that might actually die be as a result of, of terroristic acts but i just do think that there is a um, greater how could i say um impact that white nationalism and rhetoric that you often hear with what white nationalism has on um the world and, I'm going to use that quote, our, actually. Our country, specifically. 
And there are a lot of people who I wouldn't necessarily say are diehard uh, white creationist cat who say will hear certain things that I don't know, Lauren Southern, Stephen Molyneux might say on Dave Rubin or something and go on and, and, and eat hot chip too. Don't forget to staring blankly even, ahead. even more um, radical people than, than them. And they'll get some really bad ideas. And those really bad ideas kind of very often lead to people voting for the wrong people. For it's just people a joke. Condoning or or actively um, some somebody made a post about women legislation passed that and is it was so memey that it's that uh, is expensive and just w- wouldn't wouldn't fucking work and is xenophobic at its heart. So I think that when we look at the threat of white nationalism, we should not just be asking how many terrorists are are committing you know uh, like heinous acts i think we should be looking at kind of like a more like holistic uh picture i mean it's, it's hard to determine really what that impact is i won't say that that's easy but it's something that i think that we should be doing more of because it has it has a really um a horrible toll and i do not see that toll uh, you know, it, it, it is not that existent. That, that, that's, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That, that, that same, but my point is, is that that same um, effect, it, we're, we're not seeing that as a result of Islamic jihadism in this country. Uh, they, they do not have a hold within our government, governmental structure. And yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Um, next, we'll not go to Anna. She's told me not to do that. Um, but uh, <laughs> well, I can now. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, fine. Uh, we'll go to Anna. <laughs> oh, oh, and before that, quickly, um, I said the All Black Everything panel is on Thursday. It usually is. Today, this week, it'll be on Wednesday because of New Year's. But uh, um, yes, this week, we will have that on Wednesday, just so you know. All right, go ahead, Anna. Well, I pretty much agreed with what Vadim said. Um, I mean, I, I'm i still kind of, um, you know, I'm still going to kind of go with, like, what, uh, what, da- what empirical data is gonna is, is showing as term in terms of um what is our um just like the most significant threat to uh the american american civilians and also yeah i mean our last president had a lot uh seemed to bring out a lot more um white nationalism as well so i think it's pretty rational to think that that's um more of a cogent threat. Don't feel depressed. Don't worry. We're going to talk Certainly, about stuff. So, yeah. Okie dokie. All right. Next, um, we will go to um, uh, uh, counterpoints. So there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, stuff coming your way, right? So I will let you have another uh, point. Yeah. You know, at the very end, because uh, people are going to be responding to you. So I'll let you have another shot at it. All right. Uh, next, uh, we'll go to uh, Polar. Did we go to Polar yet? No. Um, yeah. Um, so I think this conversation could have been a lot more fruitful. There were a lot of interesting points that come with this. Uh, and, and so when it comes to like per capita, for example, uh, count it like, uh, counterpoints did bring up a point like, well, you know, the Muslim population in comparison to terrorism, right? So if we increase, yeah, um, I know, right? you should see an increase in terrorism. Well, as I mentioned I earlier, I don't um, this, so. this is a correlation, but there doesn't seem necessarily to be a strong of a causational effect as we assumed and that's for the mention that uh, that's for the reason that i mentioned it's much more complicated than just like religion and ideology that's why i brought up the other material condition stuff right um so for example when we only just say well we're looking at the quran you know like it says this to do this and like oh they're doing this right now that, that's correlational right but when we actually look at the reasons why um terrorist groups specifically like jihadist groups actually spring up it doesn't have as much to do as i mentioned with uh, the the text in and of itself a lot of it is geopolitical struggle a lot of it's it, with who's in power in government a lot of this is like deep uh, deep seated and it goes back all the way to the cold war um so i think we're oversimplifying this heavily um and when we think about, you know, like, there, yes, there are like 7 billion people in the world, right? Um, but when we think about, uh, like, what the U.S. government should do to protect its citizens, obviously, we should look at the domestic aspect of it, right? If we want to look at, like, international terrorism, that's on the side of, like, hey, what's the military? What, what should the military do? Because most of it is coming from places in, um, the, more specifically relating to the U.S., is in, uh, it's going in the Middle East, protecting U.S. interests. So this conversation, I think, could have been a lot more nuanced. Um, I, I think this really delved into something, but uh, counterpoint to be everyone and have another conversation about this, I'd be definitely down. 
um, because I think it's an interesting one and it's something that probably shouldn't be taken with like a, a shout fest. So I agree. So, uh, um, it, and this for anything, right? Uh, if you feel like uh, we had we were arrived on a conversation and that uh, the panel was not the best place to do it, that's okay. Uh, we have one on one uh, debates or two v twos, right? Um, so if you ever want to uh, dive deeper on something and you know outside of, a, of the uh, confines of a panel which has its restrictions, Watch right? This. Um, then we can do that as well. So I love the counterpoints. If you would uh, be interested in, in doing that. Um, I'd love to have that, um, and maybe we could have something a bit more fruitful. All right, um, Drew. Uh, yeah, so uh, I guess in closing, I'm Drew. You can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at Drew Welty. That's D-R-E-W-W-E-L-T-Y. That's two Ws in the middle. Um, in terms of uh, the stuff with Connor, um, I would say something that people like on the left like to say a lot. I, I think that just because someone's upset it doesn't necessarily mean they're wrong. Um, I think that um, it can be frustrating as someone who exists on the right to feel consistently mischaracterized or misunderstood. So maybe that's why he came into this conversation a little bit like on edge, ready to like get mischaracterized. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually going to go, I might actually end up going through the VOD afterwards to see actually what specifically happened because I don't actually remember <laughs> who did what to start things off. So yeah, it was him. Uh, maybe that'll interest It was him. Remember you about it. He's crying um, a little bit. I also want to say at the end here, thanks everybody for talking. Um, I really appreciate it. I had fun with y'all. Um, and also, please support Prime. This isn't a normal type of panel. I think he's exceptionally good at this. He's a great moderator and really good. So please, Agreed. please support him. I, I want this to keep going. He's great. Thanks so much. Do appreciate that. Thank you. That's really kind of you. All right, uh, we'll go to Doobie. Um, so yeah, I don't think uh, Counterpoints ever responded to the fact that the the stats about the Muslims in the Middle East and all this sort of thing. Um, it's really a non sequitur, right? Uh, it's, it's red herring that was thrown out to, I think, distract from the actual topic that we're supposed to be discussing, which was the threat of uh, uh, terrorism in the United States. And I think that given, uh, to answer the, the question, right, um, whether whether or not oh, Islamic or right. Christian or white nationalist terrorism is the most, uh, is uh, something that, that, that we should be worrying about, we have a president who is uh, who is not stepping down, who is, who is not conceding his election. We have about 70% of the Republican Party who do not accept the, that the election was free and fair. Um, <laughs> we have a very uh, volatile political situation right now. Right? So I think it's pretty likely, given just that, right, and the fact that we are, are we, before this, prior to this, um, we are, are we, the majority of the, the terrorism in the country was already coming from the right wing. Going forward, we should expect more terrorism from the, from the right wing. I think that's a pretty safe assumption. Um, yeah, my name's Doobie. Uh, I hang out on the politics Discord server, discord.gg slash politics. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and I was going to give you a chance to all, I will make sure I give all you a chance to give yourself a shout out. So that will be happening. All right. Uh, next, um, we'll go to uh, Fanatic. We're being uh, safe. Right on. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, man, it's really, really crazy having this conversation with this guy in Mexico talking about he's a Muslim dude. It's kind of ridiculous to me. Um, and I think you were kind of in a great state of Florida. Like, it's really interesting to me because there was this one case I remember reading about where, like, police officers in, in Florida were using mug shots. I think it was in uh, the North Miami Beach Police. They were using mug shots of black people as target practice for the police officers. That was kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah, I, I totally believe that you're Muslim. Anyway, so... Yeah, if we want to start talking <laughs> about numbers here, right, and we want to start talking about what's the greatest threat here, it's, it's really simple. We break things down into numbers. So we look at, like, okay, how many uh, white nat uh, white nationalists are in the country? And we recognize that there's um, people about 11 million, I think, uh, were some of the estimates. And then we look at the total number of Muslims in the country, and we find 3.45 million, and um, we find that, uh, yeah, so, so, so if white nationalist ideology tends to be pretty violent and we, we were starting to recognize that that their intolerance and violence uh, tends to be pretty pervasive and then we start start deciding that we want to try to get rid of terrorist attacks in this country it really makes sense to deal with the largest threat which um they are a larger part of the lar larger portion of the american population and they happen to uh, do more terrorist attacks disproportionate 
to their size of the population in comparison to Muslims. So when we have that data out there, even if you want to start talking about per capita, it still doesn't make any sense unless you're biased. And um, I don't know, maybe at your maybe at your freaking police station, they use Muslims, uh, you know, uh, as target practice. I don't know. I don't know where this is coming from, but it sounds absolutely absurd to me that you would want to focus on Muslims as opposed to white nationalists when we recognize even from our own. And that can be fun sometimes. I know We've, you know we had a bit of a spicy that, battle uh, in the past. You can see it on the YouTube channel if you're Muslims interested. Are a threat. It just it's real intense, but insane to me. I just don't know where you're getting that from. Okay, lucky. Uh, <laughs> next to my mama. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's I don't know. I, I feel like this conversation has been really taken off the rails, mostly by Connor points and and I appreciate that that Drew is is doing the best to, you know, um, give him the benefit of the doubt. But there's just there's a couple of things that bother me about this idea, which is like I mean at the end of the day, every opportunity that Connor points was given, besides like getting angry and and going ham on me and fanatic or something, which you know he does that all the time every time I'm on this show. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's funny that like all of this has been talking about like immigration and letting people in because they're a high cap per capita. And then I'm just sitting here this entire time and I'm just thinking, wait a minute, there's a big problem with this narrative, especially given that Connor points wanted to include 9-11 in this. Do you know who did 9-11? It wasn't American immigrants. It was citizens of Saudi Arabia, largely. So what the fuck are you even talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about, my dude. And it's really funny that you think that the, like, you want to erase that the Iraq war happened and you couldn't even remember what I actually said, which was that the American government waged a war and that we have in another conversation, in a later sentence, I talked about carpet bombing, which was a reference to Laos, by the way, not to Iraq and another period of time. But I know it's hard to, like, keep those things separate when you're really not, like, listening in good faith. But, yeah, you don't even know what you're talking about. Like, you're literally just mad at immigrants and you want to find whatever things you want to, um, to like, find, like, justify your brown people hate. And I really don't like it. And, and the thing is, yeah, maybe some people will say that's in bad in bad faith, but I don't know. Every single argument has broken down after two seconds of prodding. And at the end of the day, you just fall back on screaming really loud and saying, I'm molding, I'm molding, I'm screaming, I'm going to break things. Which is like, again, yeah, I got to say with this one, I, I happen to agree with Fnatic. I'm, I'm pretty happy you're not a cop anymore. And it uh, uh, just seems like, whew, maybe, it, maybe it's a little telling about the state of police. Wow. All right. Um, uh... So, uh, Con uh, Connor, you're going to be able to respond to all that. Um, yeah. I don't know why we have to come at each other's necks, everyone. Um, I don't, I, I don't see how. All right, I don't see how I had to happen. But I got it. it but Connor, uh, you can take your time and hey. respond to all of that. You missed okay. quite a conversation, so Blue. If we wanted to have a conversation about white nationalism's broader effects inside society, I'm very happy to have that conversation. As a matter of fact, I think it's an important conversation. But that wasn't the fucking conversation we were having. Actually, it was. It's, should the response to an attack be any different depending on its source? Are white nationalists, never answer Christian, that question, Christian extremists, or Islamic ex uh, extremist attacks all equally a threat to America's national security? Yeah, that's, that's literally the question. So you guys invented your own question to answer and to say I didn't answer. I have no idea why. But whatever, we'll move on. Uh, Anna basically asked the question, which is worse, white nationalism, uh, white nationalist jihad, uh, terrorism or jihadist terrorism? Guess what? They're both fucking terrorism. They're both fucked up. That was never my point. Bringing up jihadism or its disproportionate threat or its per capita jihadism. threat or its threat on the global scale has nothing to fucking Maldi do with what's Waldi. worse. If somebody walks into a public fucking venue and starts executing Maldi people, Waldi. I have this really spicy position that it's fucking bad. And whatever we can do in order to mitigate the ideology and the material conditions that contribute Maldi to that fucking attack Waldi. is important for us to fucking do. And what's really frustrating about this is the fact that we have some of the most disingenuous conversations about this ever instead of talking oh, about totally. the root between fucking ideology and jihadist terrorism we I'm which you didn't do have a nuanced which you conversation didn't do with polar's world about geopolitics material conditions uh, america's intervention in the but fucking you didn't. world i'm perfectly happy to talk about all those fucking factors yeah, but, but you didn't you guys just want to ignore that shit and call me a white nationalist it's some of the most Dumbass fucking straw no man called you. I've no ever one been called, a member of. No one called and him Demon a white Mama, You're almost as bad as fucking Doobie was last week, and you're almost as bad as fucking Mike from PA in general. So keep crying, baby. Fucking, uh, okay. Yeah, that's your two responses. That I mean, I don't know if you, you maybe if you stopped crying, right. it would, uh, so, yeah, we yeah, wouldn't yeah, have to yeah, say yeah, it yeah, anymore. Shut the fuck up. Are, are, right. you done, are you done? Are you done?
I am I'm not I'm done. Good. I'm halfway done. Bad, <laughs> All right. So basically, Polar's world brought up whether or not geopolitical struggle or fucking historical struggle, if we were oversimplifying the matter. I completely agree we're oversimplifying the matter. There's actually a 2,000 year history that we could go over that plays I in drink the his tears. And the crusade narrative, in the, uh, the, the concepts of Kufar, in the concepts of, you know, Dar al Islam and Dar al Kufar. There's so many things that he's we can talk about. That he's actually mad, though. He's actually mad, though. That's the thing. It works if he's actually mad. Correct. He's actually triggered. Then being confidently incorrect is dumb. Stop it. Okay. So uh, Doobie brought up respond to obsession for red herring of jihadism. Get fucked, dumbass. You're smart enough to understand what I'm saying. Stop pretending that you're so fucking stupid that you can literally take the lowest resolution of my fucking arguments, and that's your actual understanding of what I'm Amazing. saying. Amazing. That's what frustrates me about you, fucking. Amazing. Dude. You could understand me if you wanted to. You're fucking choosing not to. Fanatic. Mug shots of black people getting shot in the state of Florida. Really? You're randomly accusing me of being fucking racist and using mug shots for target practice? What the fuck does that have to do with anything on top of that? And by the way, Crying. you fucking misused per capita in the argument in your closing statement. You said white people fucking commit a disproportionate amount of fucking terrorism, but you use per capita in the previous sentence, almost demonstrating that you don't understand the word per capita. Holy fuck. Does he think he's All coming right. off good? Anyways, Demon Mama, your fucking points are you're mad, bro. And then you, I gave you eight points to address. I gave you eight specific points and you dodged you're All still them, crying. Fuck. Oh my like, God. If you want to debate, then finish. debate. But you have two memes with me. You're mad and you didn't make an argument. You I gave always you cry like this though. Arguments. You address none of them. You can go fuck yourself too. Okay. And All right. Rant. Bye. So Okay, great. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do an outro um, of everyone. Again, the stream is not ending. The stream is not ending. Oh, God, the stream is not ending. We're going to roll into our Likewise, right our stream is not right? ending. We've got more uh, content afterwards. that'll be afterwards. fucking crazy. It always fucking is. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, quickly, uh, I'm going to uh, give you guys outro, give you time, space to shut yourself out. If you have links um, that you want people to put in, like your Twitter or anything like that, um, feel free to uh, uh, throw them in chat. Um, also, uh, like, I'll shut you out your, uh, your Twitch channel if you want. All right, so we'll start with uh, Vadim. Content. Uh, thanks, Content. Pun, for having me on. No, we I, didn't bully him. He I, bullied I himself. I, I do think uh, I see, like, the, th this was a contentious yeah. debate, but I don't think everyone had to kind of go for the jugular as hard as they did. Still, though, Listen. not not throwing any shade on anyone for it. But it's yeah, all good. I'm Vadim, also known as Hey, it's Vadim. Oh, he's the biggest baby in the world. I have a YouTube world. channel called Hey, it's Vadim. He's the I'm biggest baby on the planet. Although maybe I will in the future. Massive baby. And uh, yeah, you can find me also under Creationist Cat. If you've ever heard of that channel, I'm now Hey, it's Vadim. You can yeah, also Redneck's find the me only on bigger Twitter one. under Hey, it's Vadim. He probably hasn't. It's not my at, but if you search that, that, that word, you, you'll find me. So I think that's all I really need to say. Uh, comedy left-wing politic videos... Um, that are sort of like uh, akin to shit that you'd see on Adult Swim. Imagine like politics, but like Long through uh, Tim Long and Eric sort of vibe. That's the kind of shit that I usually do. Uh, so thanks for having me. You, you've all been, well, but you've mostly been wonderful. So. Right. <laughs> do you have pictures of your cat anywhere? <laughs> um, cat? The cat. Kid, yeah, plays. It's playing here. the song "Useless Science." I, is I the, apologize. Is the track. I can go grab it. I don't think it's played on the canes, but it might be. <laughs> I'll, 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 Wait, the canes? Uh, no, no, do you post? Pictures? Pictures? Yes, yes actually, it does days. play on the canes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 do you post you... pictures of them anywhere? Like, yeah. What, I think it is the canes well, property well, you, that it plays on. I, Sorry, I was thinking the Sabarovs. Time here. What? What? Let's Discord and I'll send you some pics through Discord. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. We know what it is to make Anna happy. Great. Anna, I'm glad you are happy. Everyone chill here, but until everyone is done, that would be great. We could chill before leaving. But anyway, thank you, Bedeem, so much for popping through. I really appreciate you coming through and participating in all that. Anna, Anna, thanks also for coming through and sharing your knowledge. Anna, where do you move Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me, even though I'm the most boring. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> um, right, yeah, you can find me. I am on Twitch. He do uh, look like Carl. Yeah, Anna Frills. He looks like and an I angrier Carl. Carl looks more jolly. I'll give him that much. So, yeah. <laughs> and sleepy. All right, pretty straightforward. Uh, next, uh, we'll go to um, uh, counterpoints. Counter. Um, you've, it's been a day. 
Uh, <laughs> um, he but like one, yeah. Yeah, he looks I know, like, he looks uh, like the guy are from, um... more than capable of handling the hot seat. You've done it many times already. Um, so, uh, oh, counterpoints, thank you for doing that. Um, hey, Wylet. Thank you for, uh, just missed some spice, but there's going to be more. This. Don't worry. Uh, we got more content. Yeah, thanks coming. for continuing to come back, despite, you know, what you're walking into. Uh, counterpoints. Yeah. Um, so, uh, please tell us where we can find you. Yeah, so I actually, um, I linked a YouTube thing in the, in the group chat. It's actually a 26-minute, very nuanced video about Doobie Straw totally. Manning last week. Uh, it's been wild, Destiny. hasn't it, so Audrey? If you were actually interested in a nuanced We always have a lot of fun here. On uh, police corruption I always bring and good content. police brutality, then you can have I didn't it. expect and it to be actually, this chaotic, to be fair. If you don't want to see me screaming at people, because be bear in mind, oh, you I missed don't like so being much, in Gina. I've had conversations with Fnatic before. I fucking love them. I had some conversations with Demon Mom in the past that were pleasant, but frankly, she's been such a consistent fucking asshole that I'm starting to not enjoy them. So... If you want to see me in a different setting where I'm not screaming and I'm not telling people that they're stupid and we're having very nuanced conversations, because I don't do blood sports on my channel. I do hour and a half long conversations about mm -hmm. really deep and interesting shit. He, he so does cop again. If you like that, please follow my YouTube channel. His videos Come are on boring. over. I promise very to scream a little nuanced. bit less over there. Uh, okay, sure. And I meant, I meant put it in my Twitch chat um so that they can find you but I've, i i put the link for you in the twitch chat but don't worry about it yeah but thank, thank you, you. Yeah, um, just as always, so, yeah. you know, you're very much appreciated here um polar's world polar our superstar polar our future president if i have anything to do uh about it uh polar thank you for uh coming through you're always a fan favorite or fuck it fuck the fans you're my favorite um so i'm always happy to have yeah, you they're very boring. around buddy um polar tell everyone where they can find you He's another mediocre man who thinks he's the smartest guy yeah, in the world. Yeah, so uh, my name is Polar's World. You can uh, find me at twitch.tv oh, slash Polar's World. You know, all right, Gina, I'll content. update you. I'm going to try to get some like, actual academics on, uh, which is supposed to be really interesting. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like I want to skip all the BS. I want to get to the cool stuff. That That's that's kind of the academics. goal these days. Um, but, you know, ABEs on Wednesdays, I will be there, actually. This is like really rare because I'm most of the time doing school stuff. I'm going to be on a lot more panels, All that all that good stuff. Um, but you know, lastly, okay, if you can, as I mentioned earlier, go to Georgia, okay, Canvas, okay, you really cared about like Biden winning, okay, See you later, gender. He ain't gonna get nothing if you Bye. don't have that Senate. So, have a good I'm gonna post a Reddit post in the chat, Thanks for having, right? Thanks for hanging if, you, if you're a fan of Rally, Irrelevant, if you're a fan of IRI, Bastion, Dylan Burns, who was here earlier, Book Smarts, okay, and you just want to go see them and take like a photo, man, be there too. But this is a really cool cause. I yeah, destiny or whatever, you know, it's it's a hey, it's so valuable. Oh, to be out much there love to you That's too, all I gotta say. Pearl. Don't right, worry, man. we got lots My of extra stuff out, coming soon. Extra out there doing praxis. Um, uh, polar. No, it's the so other gender not found. You're, you're a fantastic uh, treasure and a resource to this channel and my community. Thank you so much. All right. Um, next we are going to Drew. Drew, uh, a new guy here, but Drew, uh, who is uh, always so goddamn reasonable, which obviously means you don't belong here at all. Um, Drew, where can people find you? Yeah, you can find me on yeah, that's Twitch, all he Twitter, does, YouTube. Danny. My name's Drew Welty, D-R-E-W-W-E-L-T-Y. I think I personally think he's like, um, and um, yeah, I usually like totally just talk unhinged, about psychology because that's like whatever. actually my like in counseling and therapy because that's like my area of study in school for my masters. But I also really love no, they're and not the same. They're different people. Contentious then, conversation and crazy blowups and conversation very interesting. So <laughs> I'll probably be talking about what just occurred here. I know that I think me and Connor are going to do some sort of conversation at some point. Um, so oh, careful. That's going to be fun. Um, in terms of that, yeah, uh, yeah, well, I, I exist sort of right of I center. I wonder if he'd invite I, me I, on. I try to be super. That'd be interesting. Uh, super uh, easy with people. So I, I had a great time with all of y'all, regardless mm, of the. Probably not. Going to just invite the boys on. Tonight. So y'all are all great. I'd love to talk to any of y'all again. Yeah, center right boys. Great. I get it. Um, next, we'll go to Fnatic. Oh, th Fnatic, thank you. It's all right. I was supposed to say nice things about you. You're cool. Uh, <laughs> Fnatic, I always appreciate your passion. If you come through here, I like you. Yeah, I think you're he does. never missing it. Um, so, he's also so triggered you, by uh, women. Uh, uh, like, he's always, literally like, triggered by every woman. He hey, freaks man, out thank on every woman. Thank you for woman. having me. Um, I found out what was going on. You know, I realize now, I'm just, I've always said I have like um, like this, a super duper duper low emotional IQ. I genuinely do believe I'm pretty emotionally retarded in general. Um, I'm not using it as a slur. I genuinely believe that about myself. Um, and so, yeah, I realize now that's kind of what drives me when I'm in these bad places. But I'm in a much better place now, so life is good. Even though we had this really contentious conversation, True. counterpoints, yeah, I know you probably won't believe it. I actually genuinely do like you. I, I think I, 
I, we might disagree about some things. I, I don't. We probably agree about a lot of things. I probably disagree with some of your takes here. Well, not probably, definitely did. But ultimately, I, it does seem... Today was the least open I've ever seen you on this specific topic. I feel like on every other thing we've, I've ever seen discussed with you, you tend to be pretty open-minded. I don't open-minded. know, 404. Um, it is kind so of So that's, you know, ultimately... We're going to have these conversations. I saw Prime Case get hey, crazy. Hey, cool. Thanks, animated. Doubled Up. Tommy, he was disagreeing with some stuff. He almost shot my head off. I've never forgiven it. <laughs> Waiting for those days again. Um, ultimately, these panels are freaking amazing. We do not all see eye to eye. I love it. When we did see eye to eye, Prime decided to play the heel and make us disagree. That's the beauty of this freaking panel is that we're going to actually get conversation and, and actually have to explain ourselves. That's that's a really, really great thing. So I truly yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, or you Polish can just world, you know, waste everyone's great, time and uh, rage Vidim, out. First time meeting you, Anna. Same with Drew. Um, Demon Mom and I, the first time we ever interacted was but it seems like we've gotten long since then, so maybe things will be better in the future. Um, I'm a musician. That's what I do. It's music. true. You all can see why it was awful. I make a living. I can tell you. COVID has kind of shut all that down, but this is right unemployment. Definitely me. not on um, me. But what's really crazy is my song was recently featured on a whole yeah, bunch of Yeah, I know I'm always underutilized, but it's okay. Really, really I make it worse. I make so my time worthwhile. Crazy, crazy streams on there. You guys want to check out people the come song, to watch my it. favorite song on my new on my. Newest album. Oh, he kissed up to Vosh because Vosh is a stronger uh, man than Muse. him. There's the That's link how it works. To it. You can check it out. Um, you can he was calling with Vosh. Everything under the name Fanatic. Um, yeah, everywhere. Like um, my latest album is called Soundscapes. I think it's pretty freaking. Yeah, Vosh cool. chatted on, over him. For meditation. Um, I recommend all of us do that after we. Have oh yeah, it's true. When I get the opportunity to talk, I pop Case off. Is an amazing, amazing, amazing person for having me in these places, especially because I'll be blowing up on niggas. But ultimately, <laughs> I love you guys all. Okay, peace. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Mr. Fanatic is a fantastic uh, uh, debater. He's a ta- oh, it's uh, way less fantastic uh, artist, right? And now he's becoming a much better marketer because usually I have to fucking hassle him um, to <laughs> advertise himself. Um, but as always, dude, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Next, uh, Demon Mama. Demon Mama, who came in last uh, minute. Demon Mama, we're like, oh, hey, uh, I can join in. And then we're like, oh, no, we're full. And then, like, uh, Dylan, unfortunately, uh, had to drop out. And then we're like, oh, Demon Mama, come back. And she's like, yeah, that's cool. Um, I'll step in and save your asses. And that's what she did uh, for us. Thank you, Demon Mama, for uh, being a part of this. You're always appreciated. I always love having you around. Demon Mama, tell me, everyone, where they can find you. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, easiest way to find um, basically everything that I do is to join my Discord. Discord.gg forward slash Demon Mama, spelled just like over here, M-A-M-A. That is, the, that is where you can get all my notifications. You can find everything else or my website, demonmama.com. That's the easiest way to find me. Uh, I do lots of debate content, lots of political commentary, and all kinds of other fun stuff. Today, in fact, we did a deep dive on some wild Twitter drama. And I've been doing this little series called Drama Mama that's been very fun. So you can come check that out and see all my videos if you want to. Um, we have a fantastic community so please come join us we'd love to have you i'm going to be doing a debate after this panel and uh yeah it's a real fun time uh you can see lots of people get real 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 pissed off at me for some reason or another um it's really funny um it it happens like all the time it's wild anyway thanks for uh thanks for having me on prime uh love to come on the show and uh you know always hit me up if you need it awesome thank you so much thank you for the uh raid daily blend it's really kind of you uh the five person raid um Okay, uh, next, um, last but absolutely certainly not least, we have uh, Doobie. Doobie over there, that green monster on your screen. Because he's freaking out. Uh, that thing peeking behind you, uh, peeking at you from behind the wall, right? Um, when you turn around, you Remember, think it's Remember, we got more out. content after he's this, there. so don't go anywhere. Lurking. Uh, Doobie, uh, thanks for coming through. Um, uh, Doobie is the uh, head of the Policy Discord server. Um, I'm shouting him out for him. Um, but uh, I told you all... Uh, that our walk-on panels get fucking crazy. Um, um, I'm going to be talking did. to um, the Scrub uh, Oftentimes, King. it's because of Doobie himself. Um, and uh, Doobie um, will uh, actually be uh, doing that uh, BCLA debate that we talked about. Yes, it's happening, people. We are definitely doing it. Fuck it all. Yes, this is that's happening. This is the uh, logical endpoint of this channel. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Doobie, uh, shout yourself out. Uh, yeah, so I'm Doobie. Um, as Ram said, I help run the greatest uh, debates server on Discord. Counterpoints um, to stalk this week will chat, probably, probably be discussing Congress I don't know for group, sure. a police goon squad he can cry as much as he and wants whether to. or not it should be designated as a terrorist organization. Um, I know that I sometimes come, come off as kind of like rude or uncompromising when I'm telling people that their religion is like a death cult or whatever. But the reality is I, I genuinely like and cherish these opportunities to talk to you guys. I 
love all of you more than I can express. Yeah, and he kind of, I mean, no, that's more like, here. um, so that's more guy, like President Sunday, Somno Static, to be completely honest. Squad, terrorist organization. I'm not uh, gonna lie. Thank you. Watch my <laughs> video first. Uh, there is a, uh, a link in chat, uh, exclamation point, uh, politics. We'll give you that link, discord.gg slash politics. It's a fantastic place. No matter what you want to argue about, you will find someone to argue about it with you um, in the politics discord server. Check it out, right? And also, yes, we're doing the BCLA debate. It's happening. Um, DB is on the pro side, uh, but but are, you're not surprised. I know you're not surprised, uh, but okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're moving on, rolling on to the walk on panel. Um, so, uh, if the people who wanted to like argue, uh, I, like Anna, um, Socrates is going to be within the um, uh, our walk on panel. So, all if right. you want to, to confront him about whatever, you can I'm do gonna that head right out. Now. Okay, so here's um, the uh, thing fanatic, if you our panel is still going, we have a debate up, coming, uh, about, and we got more um, stuff to talk about. Thing, do that now. Give me a second, or maybe we could do that, uh, uh one, one v one, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so we're going to roll on to the walk-on panel. If you, anyone here can join us. If not, it's okay. Thank you for spending your time, your energy, and your knowledge with my community. It's very much appreciated. Okay, I don't think it's happening bye. tonight, by the way. I don't think the beast reality debate is happening tonight. Bye.